is virtually everything around me you know um obviously i started with the victorian era which everybody knows but over the years um it was then modified for today's woman i've been around for almost two decades so you can only imagine um so i go to the library when i travel watching tv um virtually everything around me even when you have a train journey in europe you know even from going to the stores um like very lovely boutiques you see some of the creativity that is there and i think also um the nigerian women and african women are very fashionable people so they are also you know having consultations with them also also inspires you a lot another thing for me is also i'm very into my colors so my fabrics texture fabrication um, very bold unique classy you know very clean looks I work with organza, so all of this also inspires my looks because the fabric is a very big aspect of what we do. You know, be it uh, maybe it's an organza, if it's jacquard, if it's softly chiffons, to um, very beautiful um, crepes, um, and even when you talk about Dutchess fabrics, it, it, all, it all has different meanings to it. Very recently, the woman likes to be very well, you know, curvaceous, nice, and that's very African, as you know. So all of that also makes um, a point in the way my looks, you know, come together. Um, but all together, um, the LDA woman is very bold, very classy, and um, yes, confident. <laughs> um, so. For me, it's actually a way to show that it's all good. I'll be honest with you, after every collection and you see me dancing, I, I've thought about it so much if I come out. In fact, sometimes I'm actually really nervous, but it's something that helps. So I tend to use music that I'm used to, that I've been listening to at least for the last probably a month. So that helps me to move and create a sudden kind of um, you know, motion and all of that. Because you have to know that during the collection, it was a lot of work. You know, and we, no matter how many, how many years we've been doing this, the feedback from the audience is extremely important because they are the ones I'm catering to. So I'm very lucky, I've gotten very good feedback over the years, good feedback over the years. So when I do the dance, it's almost like a joyful moment of thank God this is over now. And I'm very grateful and I'm thanking everyone. And so it's just something that sort of relieves me of all the stress. <laughs> 18 years is actually officially, not officially, it's 20 years. I actually started in 2003. So, but I would say about two decades now, but I registered and started business properly in 2005. So, 20 years, um, I'm really grateful to um, the Nigerian audience, the press, everyone has contributed, my, my clients, customers over the years, globally, you know. And when I talk about press, it's a whole lot. You know, I've been there, you know, we started from the Facebook years to the print, proper print media years. And um, recently we've got the social media years as well. So I've been through almost everything, you know. So I think it all embodies what the LDO man stands for. And um, it's, it's one of those things that has kept the industry, the fashion, the LDO man going, the, the brand itself going because um, the fashion designing in itself is a lot of hard work. So you have to be extremely passionate. And um, I'm very thankful for the passion I have. And like I said, it takes a village. <laughs> uh, so I'm currently working on it. Yes, you know, I, again, it, you know, like I always say, every, for every fashion show you see, it's dressed to fine. It's almost very similar looks. It's a sort of recycling in everyone's collection. You know, you don't really, you don't really go away from what you, you love. You just took it around and fit it for the trends of that season. So, I'm definitely again, this is something of LDA. You're gonna be surprised, but obviously, again, um, colors change from time to time. Silhouettes, body physics, some kind of asymmetric. Some, you know, recently there's been a lot of slits. Like I'm wearing one now. And um, so there's always going to be something, you know, you know, uh, like my last collection has a lot of corsets in it and very much out there again. But like, that's all I will say to you. So wait till you say it. <laughs>